We're going to be painting our cat at night today. So please remember, folder holder, your folder is in the cart. When you open up the folder, you're going to see everybody has a cat with their name. Please give everybody the cat. You will take the folder and please return it to Miss Lawson's box up top because these papers will be wet. You will have your paint mat, which is under you. Flip your cat over. And now you have two color choices. So when I have the supply manager um, bring the tray to the table, then please remember the table captain is the one who passes out the tippies. Um, you have an orange or you have a gray. So please understand you're not gonna have a gray and orange cat. You've gotta figure out which one would you like to use. So you can have an orange tabby cat and then we're gonna add some white stripes to it after it dries. Or you can have a gray cat and then we can add some white to it. So once you pick which cat you want, and the one on the wall, I already have orange. So today I'm gonna paint um, this one gray. And please remember, you don't have to dip your whole brush in there. Just the paint needs to be on the hair, not all the way up the, the um, paintbrush. So just understand, even though how deep it is, you still just wanna dip your hair. So we are gonna start at the top because if you start at the bottom, you're gonna get paint all over you. Do not paint the inside of the ears. That we will use with our details when we get to the oil pastels next week. Now, do you need to go right over the whiskers, right over the eyes, right over the nose? We will add these back in with the oil pastels um, once it dries. But you'll still be able to see them once it dries too. It's not going to completely cover them up. Stay as best as you can inside your cat. The collar, you're going to jump over that. Do not paint that the same color as your cat. So you're gonna move down. thing I've noticed a lot of kids they keep adding more paint on top they keep adding more and more after I've already painted it once there's no need for that you do need to spread it out make sure there's no big spots of wet paint but don't keep dipping more and adding more there's no need to add more once the color is there it's there I can help smooth it out by pushing it around but there's no need to keep adding more paint okay once you've done that take your tippy do a flippy get the handle down in the house Make sure that the person who is bringing the tray back to the table, back to the counter, also takes their brushes and dumps them at the pool. Everybody else, you're gonna wait and listen for directions about going to the drying rack. 